Welcome back, boys and girls. And today is Monday, September 21st. And tomorrow is Tuesday. And tomorrow I'm taking my godson out on his first hunt ever. It was my honor to teach him how to shoot his first rifle when he was just a little boy. Okay, Juno, so about 17 years ago, you came to this range and you had your first shooting. Oh, yeah. And I taught you how to shoot. So I was honored by that. But this time, you came back and now you're going for your first deer hunt. First deer hunt. Yes. Well, and first two deer hunts. <laughs> it could be three. It could be three. <laughs> now we're getting a little greedy. So, and I'm also honored to take you out on your first hunt. So how do you feel about going hunting now? I'm, I'm super excited, obviously. Um, we saw the camera video track yesterday and saw a bunch of deers walking uh -huh. around. Fat <laughs> so it'll be a nice day. Um, I'm also very excited for the meat. That's the most, I, I would say that's the biggest reason I'm so excited. And um, yeah, I'm honored to be here. And now I'm taking out on his first hunt ever. So I hope this turned out to be a great hunt for him. And he drove all the way from Illinois. So I'm really hoping he could take home enough venison to make up for all the time that he put in. Now he's taking his first rifle in 270 and I'll be trying my G40 one more time. Tomorrow morning is going to be kind of chilly. It's going to be in like 37, 36, so you should be really great for the deer hunt. And the sunrise is at 6.58, so we can legally hunt from 6.28. So we should be up in the tree by 6 and be ready. It is now 8.49 and I just heard Juno shoot. I really hope he got one. I'm gonna give about 10, 15 minutes and get down. I just called him and he told me he shot the deer and saw it jump, but he can't see where it's laying. But the fact that he jumped, that means he hit it. So I'm really happy for him. I told him I'm gonna give him 10 more minutes and get down and check it out. I am so pumped, man. I am so happy for him. I asked him if he knew exactly where he shot the deer and he told me he's looking at it right now at the spot where he shot. I told him keep your eye on it until I get there and don't come down from the tree until I get to the spot where he shot it so we could locate the blood trail. Man, I am shaking. I'm so excited for him. We have the blood right here and we could see the belly here. That means she's dragging my body, so she's hurt pretty good. Okay, you could see the leaves are kind of flipped. That means she went through here. So we could see some blood trails over there. So she should be here somewhere. You got it. I see the belly. I could officially congratulate you. Thank you. <laughs> Way to go. And we found the doe, so we gotta go take a look at it right now. Okay, it turned out to be a small fawn. But it's gonna be really good eating but for the first deer it's really kind of hard to tell so tell me about it i'm, I'm so happy okay <laughs> yeah it's a smaller meat uh -huh. but um i think it's still gonna be very good eating oh i'm sure and i think my family will be excited to try out uh-huh yeah I, I just i wish it was a little bigger uh -huh. i guess that could have been a little nicer but yeah. But in the scope, it looked a big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looked <laughs> it like, like a... oh, this is a giant. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a little bit smaller than what you expected or what you wanted, but that's going to be really good eating venison. 30 pounds of really good eating oh, yeah. venison. Oh, yeah. So, as a as a hunter, uh, it starts from today. So my, Yeah, my new life begins today. There you go. You I'm... got me really hooked, <laughs> I got to say. <laughs> um, so, first time out here, first doe. So it's a very, um, I think it's going to be a very memorable day. Yeah, we got a nice house to tag as soon as possible. Alright, that's the easy dragging. Oh, yeah. Any size deer is good. Okay, I'm done butchering the deer and I taught Juno you know how to do it. So he's pretty confident now. For the next one, he's gonna do it himself. Now, even though it was a small deer, I'm very proud of him. Uh, the fact that he had a scope on him for 
hits about three, four minutes and wait for the perfect broad shot instead of shooting straight, facing him straight. It's a good thing he actually waited and he also made sure they didn't have any answer on because I told this very important. This is anti last early season. So he made sure there was no other deals, didn't have any antler, and he waited for the broad side shot. And I'm very proud of him for that. And tomorrow's another day. So similar condition, we're going back out again.